Well, welcome into this week's degrees of science. The April 8th total solar eclipse was amazing, but now that it's done, you may have a pair of these or several of these sitting around your house wondering what do I do with them? Well, don't throw them away. We have a cool way and easy way that you can recycle these eclipse glasses to help other people. So today we're talking to Andrew Fazekas from uh, Astronomers Without Borders. So Andrew, thanks for joining us. W tell us about y'all's recycle program that y'all have. Yeah, so um, this is our second uh, go around with this amazing program where we're literally taking gently used and unused glasses, vetting them, making sure they meet safety standards, and then repackaging them and sending them off to various places around the world, underserved communities, schools that happen to be in the path of future eclipses. In 2017, when we first did this, we collected over 3 million glasses across a, uh, over, I think it was a thousand collection sites across the United States. And it was just such a big success. We actually sent the last batch of eclipse glasses just a few months ago out and uh, we're hoping to do it again this time and it's looking fantastic. We're, we're kind of already having, I don't know, something over a 400 uh, collection sites and growing and we are already have committed at least 200,000 glasses, unused ones, mind you. And so uh, we're, we think it's, it's going to be really even bigger than in 2017. So yeah, you did the 2017 one. Is there particular places y'all try to send them or is it just kind of those underserved areas that you're trying to get this out to? Yeah, so what's really cool about solar eclipses, they happen once every six months on average. So they're not necessarily to uh, totality we're talking about where the skies do get darkened. We have those that are partial eclipses where it looks like just a bite is taken out of the sun, or we have what are called ring or fire eclipses or annular eclipses where the disk of the moon is slightly smaller than the sun, sun's disk. So you have that ring of sun uh, around. And so these are also very dramatic eclipses and uh, they need solar eclipse glasses to see them and it happens on a cadence of generally every six months so in the 2017 eclipse it took us uh, almost seven years six and a half years actually to, to, to send them all out with each different eclipse we would send tens of thousands to different locations like Sri Lanka we sent some to Nepal even Afghanistan got a few um, we Ethiopia that was under uh, the, the a path of, of, of totality, uh, Chile, Argentina. And in fact, in this next round, we're expecting not to wait too long, just six months from now on October 2nd, there's going to be another uh, annular eclipse, the ring of fire eclipse that'll grace the skies of the southern tip of South America. So for ch folks in Chile and Argentina, there's some remote towns where there are schools and we're hoping to get some nice uh, eclipse glasses from uh, the good folks in, in across the United States that uh, give these wonderful uh, eyewear, protective eyewear for these uh, kids down there. Well, that, that, that's that's amazing and know that you can help out people that may not have the access to it. So if somebody wanted to donate their new or gently used Eclipse glasses, where can they find the list of places that are collecting them? So I invite everyone to visit our website, astronomerswithoutborders.org, O-R-G. And uh, at that website, there's a big banner. You just click on it, it says recycle glasses and you'll get a whole list of collection centers we're we're trying to keep up with all the emails in just the last 24 hours we got over 1200 inquiries about becoming collection centers and people have tens of thousands of glasses so just be a little bit patient we'll be getting through the entire list and just keep adding them with the mailing address so you would just literally just mail it into your local collection site that that has agreed to to be part of this program so these collection sites are not only collecting them, but they're going to be vetting them there as well before they get sent out? Absolutely. So we're kind of, that's a, one of the big differences we've done with the 20, between the 2017 and now the new campaign in, the, in that we kind of decided to divide and conquer as opposed to just having one central collection sites and vetting sites. So the individual collection sites are being trained through their volunteers how to vet these eclipse glasses making sure they're not counterfeit they're not uh, fakes you know and make sure that they have their integrity that uh, you know there's no scratches or punctures 
uh, or bends in the lenses. Uh, and, you know, it, you have to remember, these things would otherwise go into a, a landfill, right? They're not really eco-friendly eclipse glasses. So uh, because of they're a mixture of material like uh, cardboard with, with the glue and the mylar filter that protects our eyes. So uh, really, this is the best course of action in terms of recycling is to redistribute the gently used glasses uh, around the world. So if somebody wanted to become a collection site and a vetting site, what, what would they need to do to get that process going? Absolutely, it's really simple. So you just log on to our, our, our website. We've got uh, uh, our email as well, collection node at astronomerswithoutborders.org, but you'll find all of that information on our recycling page at astronomerswithoutborders.org. And we give you very simple, a quick email back to you that describes the vetting process of how to set it up and how to become a collection node. It's really simple. Well, this is a great opportunity to help out people that may not get to see something like this, but this really fits in what your organization, Astronomers Without Borders, does. And I saw a quote on the top of y'all's site, boundaries vanish when we look skyward. So uh, that, that just fits, I think, what you are trying to do. Tell us about your organization, uh, Astronomers Without Borders, and what y'all do. Sure thing. So AWB has been around since 2008. And what we're in the business of doing is using astronomy to do good in the world. Because we find astronomy is a very inspiring, uh, humbling uh, um, uh, field, you know, especially looking up at the sky. Folks, uh, you know, we share the same sky around the world. Our motto here at AWB is one people, one sky. And, you know, boundaries do vanish when we look upwards. It's amazing community building, peace building, uh, and it's also uh, very inspiring to youngsters. You know, to get into STEM education, uh, it really lowers the boundary. It's an, a, a, astronomy is what we call a, a gateway science into STEM fields. So and this is especially important in underserved communities around the world that just don't have the, the, the luxury and, and the good fortune of having, you know, these kind of um, educational material and equipment like these glasses glasses, which is, is going to be a boon for teachers everywhere. So, you know, a lot of organizations, there's ways to help out, but y'all have got a cool way if, say, someone's more interested in uh, astronomy really after the eclipse, y'all's One Sky Telescope, that, that's an awesome telescope that is helping out a great cause. Tell us, tell us about that. Yeah, we're really fortunate. We're partners with uh, the, the probably the leading manufacturer of telescopes uh, is the U.S.-based Celestron telescopes. Uh, they have created a special, unique telescope just for Astronomers Without Borders that allows us to raise money to fund all this good work that we do, the charitable work that we do around the world. So the sales of this telescope, which people can find on our website, again, astronomerswithoutborders.org, it's been ranked, this, this desktop telescope is very family friendly, uh, easy for the kids to use, uh, and it's a great, again, entryway into the hobby of astronomy, and you never know what it leads to. It's something that what I think is so great is that it's a family-friendly telescope, the One Sky. It's ranked as one of the best entry-level scopes. It's 250, which is very reasonable with shipping included. And uh, I invite people to check it out. And by getting your own telescope, you're also helping out uh, folks around the world to also get access to astronomy, the night sky, and uh, inspire the next generation. Well, Andrew, I appreciate you taking time to talk with me again. If you're interested in uh, donating these glasses, we'll have a link here with this story. But Andrew, I know you are super, super busy, and thank you for taking some time to talk to us about y'all's program. Thanks so much for the time and interest, and I wish everyone clear skies.